you're watching Young Techs and on the show today we're bringing you the highlights from the Vote in India Startup Challenge. Let's take a look now at the last two startups battling it out for the ultimate prize of $10,000. Nikolai Pereira and Tara Kaluri's innovation, Leova, is a language processing engine that enables mobile apps to understand spoken English requests without needing command words. The duo claims Leova's algorithms improve processing accuracy and its modular design structure enables faster customization and deployment even in other languages. You see, one of the wonderful things we do is we machine, machine train the system for your business. So when you're talking about uh, you're talking about booking a flight from Mumbai to Delhi, we will never interpret that flight as a flight ever. If you're talking about you know getting something on your pizza, we will never interpret corn the ingredient as corn the band ever. We are business specific. Okay, that's what what makes our outcome so much more superior to what's out there right now. Our last finalist, Smart Paddle, is a B2B web portal that hopes to support SME growth by helping them focus on genuine queries, digitizing massive amounts of paperwork and facilitating timely payments between stakeholders. With an initial focus on the chemicals industry, the duo of Aniket Dev and Arjita Kulshreshta hope to soon venture into other industries including automobile components, plastic products and electronics. So we have decided to launch Vizongo. Because it's, it's actually the tagline is business on the go. So the thing is, Indian SMEs, small and medium enterprises are not empowered with technology. So they are not being able to conduct trade online on a day to day basis. And there's a huge disparity between the global average of trade happening online and the Indian average. So plan to step in here and kind of bridge the gap and help them empower with technology. These five teams battle it out for the title and a cash prize of $10,000. Take a look at the presentations. The eventual aim is to be a personal navigation tool for millions of mothers and millions of dads uh, in India. I didn't see a mobile interface there. Are you purely mobile or uh, desktop mobile? What's your skill? To build credibility, you start with a web first interface, but when you build up a web, it's completely mobile responsive. So, in fact, 75% of our audience comes in from mobile, even though we have a web only interface right now. So, that's what we're working on right now. So, if you ask me for my next product feature that's really critical to us, it's mobile. Filter box is an activity box which inspires kids, which inspires kids to explore new things around them and feel that curiosity for new things. Can you talk about the potential? Yes. What, how you plan to retain people and to uh, that unit economics of each person? What does it cost to acquire? What are they worth? Our subscriber application cost at this point is twenty one dollars, and our lifetime value at the end of four months is eighty four dollars. And this will easily go up to $150, $160. We make very clear, uh, you know, design thought on that so that the box can be opened by the kid and 50 to 60 percent of the activities can be like easily done by a kid over like current affairs. 87 percent of the households in India go for a weekly, bi weekly, or daily purchase of items. And every time they do this, that will build the traffic, that will build the infrastructure, that will build the crowd at the shops. And they spend around 40 minutes in an average, on an average, to make a purchase. And we wanted to take off this pain, and we came up with Zip Store. Zip Store is an omni channel marketplace to buy from a local grocery store in a city. Can you explain the backbone of the, of the model? So you have an app, and you make the order online. And then just explain to me what happens. The first step is selecting the store. Once I select the store, then I go inside, select the items which I want to buy. It can be list, you can type it in cell, or it can be from the categories which you have listed. And this order directly goes to the store guy's mobile. So he has a mobile app with him. He sees the order. He says name of the customer, address, list of items, and the delivery time. And he acts on top of it. Um, having spent some time in Bombay, I think. A lot of the time, I mean, my wife would just pick up the phone and call the crowd and ask them to deliver. So, um, what's, why would she, you know, pull up an app and actually look for a store and find the product and then pay a fee? So, right now, what, whatever we are facilitating is a discovery, which is seamless. So, you will list on Jeff Store, you can easily find the store. That's number one. Second is like, how many items can you order over phone? What we have observed is, on an average, average ticket size of a telephone order stands at around 250 rupees. But on Zipstore, it is 750 rupees. 
Leopold is an artificial intelligence based system wrapped in an API based in the cloud that's really fast and enables mobile phones to understand what their users are saying. Our three focus areas currently are travel, food, and shopping. This sounds to me like an alternative to Siri or you know any of these uh, voice activated uh, systems on the phone. So why not go there? Why are you going uh, and positioning this as something that solves mobile commerce specifically? You see, what we're bringing to the app is the ability for a guy to open up his Jet Airways app and say, I'm looking for a flight from Bombay to Delhi tomorrow. Why would someone like Jet Airways want this? Someone like Jet Airways would be really interested in this because it gets to keep this customer on the app. That's the whole purpose of building an app. You get to retain the customer. At the end of the day, customer retention is king. We are going to be a new age marketplace focused on four areas, four main areas. Firstly, we are going to put a lot of effort into getting objective specifications for all product categories. A communication, we are going to change the entire landscape. We are going to ensure that digitized templates for quotations and for invoices, purchase orders are available. We are going to follow an existing network based feedback mechanism. So that is going to help a buyer make a proper decision when he wants to be connected to the seller. I guess we know through Alibaba that the idea makes sense. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about the India piece here. How do you, uh, how is sourcing currently done in India? What's mm -hmm. that process like? When I talk to SME, they tell us that Alibaba is a very brand, big brand name. We know of Alibaba. But they do not get any tangible results because of, because of time that and they are very frustrated because the amount of subscription pay that they have to pay is very high as compared to something like India Mart. India Mart is different problem. Alibaba on the other hand is, hasn't achieved the operational efficiency that is required in India. You have to grab people's attention, you have to employ people on street, you have to get them to knocking on their doors and take their attention. Well, that was quite a grilling. It is time for another break, but when we return, catch the winner of the Watch in India Startup Challenge 2015.